Greetings, and welcome to this episode in the series of videos on LiDAR with ArcGIS Pro. This series is brought to you by AmericaView, in partnership with the College of Natural Resources and Environment at Virginia Tech, the Virginia Cooperative Extension, and GeoTED UAS. I'm Cherie Auckland, and I'll be your guide. In Chapter 13, we combined multiple tiles into one LAST file, or LAST dataset. At the end of the chapter, you created a LAST dataset for the Mesa County LiDAR tiles we downloaded. In this chapter, we'll add more tiles to the Mesa County LAST dataset and update statistics. We'll also cover removing a tile from an existing LAST dataset. Begin with the local scene you created in Chapter 13 with the Mesa County LAST dataset. If you didn't complete that practice, start a new local scene project and create a LAST dataset using the three LiDAR tiles from Mesa County that we downloaded in Chapter 7. We need to grab some additional tiles adjacent to these. So let's go back to the Mesa County, Colorado GIS website from Chapter 7. Recall the location of the original three tiles selected in Chapter 7. Now let's choose three additional adjacent tiles shown here as red dots. Download these three new tiles and unzip them into the folder with the original three Mesa County tiles. Now let's investigate two ways these new tiles can be added to the last dataset. We saw in Chapter 13 that you can create a last dataset using either Catalog or a geoprocessing tool, and we can use these same tools to add new tiles to an existing last dataset. Let's add a new tile using Catalog. Open Catalog View. Locate the Mesa County LAST dataset. Let's right click and go to Properties. Select LAST files if you don't see them. And here is where, of course, you add files. Go ahead and add files. Now we'll navigate to the newly downloaded tiles. For this example, we'll choose only this tile and open. The other two tiles we'll be adding using a geoprocessing tool later in this video. Now you see the last data set so it shows these four tiles. Let's check out the statistics. Notice this message that one file has outdated or no statistics. Let's update. If the update button is not enabled, just check the box in front of force recalculate. That should activate the update button. Once statistics is finished, you should see statistics up to date. Now let's close this window and go to the scene tab. Now let's add the remaining two tiles to the last data set using a geoprocessing tool. Go to the Analysis tab, Tools, and search for Add LAS. Choose this tool, and for the input last data set, choose our Mesa County last data set, and then under LAS Files or Folders, navigate to and select the two additional tiles to add. Leave these other items blank and run the tool. Once the tool finishes, you see the last data set is updated and displays all six of the tiles. Let's go ahead and check the statistics. Let's right click on the last data set, go to Properties and Source. And notice that it says the statistics are incomplete or outdated. Every time a data set is changed by either adding or removing tiles, the statistics must be updated. Let's close this window. Now statistics can be updated in multiple ways after adding new tiles, but let's review two of them. First, we can update statistics on the last data set layer toolbar. Make sure your last data set is selected and that you see the last data set layer toolbar up here and go to the data tab. Choose statistics and Calculate Statistics. This opens the last dataset statistics geoprocessing tool. Make sure your last dataset shows up in the input and go ahead and just run the tool. Just to be triply sure that we have calculated these statistics, let's go ahead and check that now. And now you see our statistics are present and up to date. You can also get to this tool through the Analysis tab, Tools, 
and search for and open last dataset statistics. If I'm doing a lot of geoprocessing, I just leave the geoprocessing window docked on my screen for easy access to the tools. Now let's talk about removing tiles from a last dataset. Again, we can remove last tiles in two ways, similar to adding tiles, and again using the same tools. I'm just going to identify the process without demonstrating the entire process here. First, we can use Catalog. Right click on the last dataset name, Properties, Last Files, and when you select the tile that you want to remove, the Remove button activates. At that point, you would just click Remove and OK. And of course, update your statistics when you're done. Second, tiles can also be removed using the Remove Files from Last Dataset geoprocessing tool found here in the geoprocessing window. So far, we've covered information on finding, downloading, and adding individual LiDAR tiles to ArcGIS Pro, creating one last dataset for multiple tiles, and adding and removing tiles from an existing last dataset, and calculating statistics. In the coming chapters, we'll review display settings, symbology, classifying points in a point cloud, and surface constraints.